Hello there, beautiful people, and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on the line in comment, I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250, actually more than 300 videos now on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. Now I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe actually you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, including this video actually, that will make Shopify store very professional and unique, without having to rely on those expensive teams, or hiring those expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money, and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, then you should decide, I respect your decision. But for now, let me show you how to add the HTML call to your Shopify store in a very good way and a professional way, of course, so the CSS code or whatever doesn't leak to other elements on your Shopify store. And we will do so by using a custom section that will actually handle the CSS on uh, HTML for you. So you don't have to worry about any of that. And this is completely free again. So I would appreciate if you hit that like button. That will motivate me to share more free things with you guys. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video adds more customizations. But if we do like 70 or 60, the team would be completely different. For example, check out the scrolling logos as you can see with the fade of the corners. And once I hover over it, it stops. And this is optional. You can enable or disable this option. Or even better, check out the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. And it's highly customizable. Or you want to see something that will make you more money? Check this out. So as you can see, I have five products added to the cart and I didn't check out yet, right? And this is the mouse cursor. So I will act just like I want to leave or close the page and this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. And of course a button so he can go check out and pay you the money he owes you. And this is by using your own custom code, no applications involved. And many more things I cannot mention in one video. If I scroll down, it's many, many more things. But I'll let you decide. As I said, I will show you how to add your own custom HTML code to your Shopify store in a proper way, in the correct way. So let me close actually the Shopify store and we will do demonstration on the new version of Down. Actually, it's the same version, but this one is not customized. Uh, I did some customizations, but not, not much here. So as you can see, it, this one is very different. So we will use this one for demonstration. So let's just get back in here and access customize button or actually not customize. The first thing you're going to do is click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code for the team you are using. In my case, as I said, I will do demonstration on this one. So I will click in here on three dots and click on edit code. Then it will open up the code editor for your Shopify team. And on the left panel right here, you will see some folders in here. Simply click on the first folder, which says uh, sections. Click on it to be expanded. Then click on the first option, which is add a new section. Then another prompt will show up so you can name the section and simply name it HTML handler. It's very simple, right? Then click on done. And no worries, this will help us a lot in handling HTML and you will see that in a second. So just clear the, the file in here because by default it will create some code. Make sure to delete it and keep it empty just like you see. The next thing you're going to do is we need to paste in the code here. But where are you going to get that code? From the description box, of course. Scroll down the description box and click on the link. It's completely free as I said. And it will open up this website right here. No, not you. What, what do you want? I keep up what is this anyway this website right here and scroll down a little bit and you will see this code then simply use this icon to copy the code and get back in here and paste it in here then click on the save button wait for a couple of seconds as you can see it's very short code like 290 lines then get back to the dashboard then click on customize button for the team where you did add the section. So in my case, I use it here. So I'm going to click on customize in here. Then it will open up the team editor and simply navigate where you want to add the HTML code. Which page from here? In my case, I'm going to do demonstration on the home page. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and see where I'm going to add it. Let's just say I want to add it in here. Then click on add section to template where you want to add it, of course. Then search for HTML. It didn't show up. Sometimes it, this happens and this is a very good example actually. So you can, even if it happens to you, it's not that it's not working. Just reload the page. And now let's just try again. Add section, HTML and here it is. HTML handler, as you can see. And sometimes we did things quickly. Uh, the section does not show up. Just reload the page and it will show up. And you will see a bunch of options in here. 
no worries. I will show you how to hide even if you don't want to add the title. As you can see, it has title that looks very good, description, and the HTML where we're going to be shown. Even if you don't want these, I will show you how to disable them by simply this button, as you can see. But give me a second. So where are we going to uh, try it with using the HTML code? I'm going to do chat GPT. So I'm going to open up chat GPT. I'm going to ask him to make me a call. So I'm going to ask him, uh, write me a simple HTML code for a pricing table. That's very simple. Write me an HTML code for a pricing table. And let's just click on enter and let it do its magic. And here it is. It's done. It creates some code in here. It has HTML, uh, CSS, as you can see, everything in here. So let's just copy the code using this button. We're going to get back in here. And this is where you're going to place the HTML code that you want to add. So let's just pass it in here. And here it is, pricing table. And it looks good, actually. Not, not too simple. <laughs> I just said simple. It looks good, actually. So let's just say you don't want to show this. It's very simple. Or you want to customize it. Here is the heading. As you can see, you can customize the heading size and the heading color. And this is the background for the heading. As you can see, it shows background. If you want to hide it, simply disable it from here. Show the heading, as you can see. If I disable it, it's gone. And the same for the description. Show the subtitle, disable it, it's gone. And it has the same option as again. You can customize this uh, description, the description size, description color, and this is the section content background color. And of course, below the padding, as you can see, and some spacing options. And using this custom section, you can add any HTML code and it will be handled just fine. And this is a good example, as you can see. And that's how you add your own HTML code to your Shopify store in a proper way, not like those tutorials. But anyway, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.